What are you doing? <laughs> I'm breaking the rock more than I am the eye. Is it working? Yeah, yeah when I point the point you part down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming you're doing this because you don't want to put salt on our flower beds, is that right? No, I didn't even think about salt. I was just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, how can I throw a rock? Oh, ice! <laughs> hey, that's a good reason. <laughs> then I went and ruined it. <laughs> no. Ice. Oh, you found ice too. Are you eating it? <laughs> You're eating the ice. Yeah. That is Emmy's favorite thing about wintertime is the eating the snow and the ice. <laughs> I don't know that it's the... Well, I was going to say it's probably not the cleanest, but you know what it probably is. Clean air, clean snow. Just came from over here. <laughs> well, I was about to give Buttercup some water. This is probably the sunniest January I have ever experienced in this valley. So this is really nice. Give Buttercup this water real quick. Hey, Buttercup. Hey, nameless calf. <laughs> Poor thing. Wait. Kathleen. Kathleen? Kath Kathleen. That's a good that's a good name for him, Banch. Except it's a boy. I guess we could name him that. That wouldn't really matter, would it? What did you find? Oh, a little a little water bowl. <laughs> Alright. Do you wanna hold that while I give her some water? Sorry, Buttercup. I got better head wet. <laughs> Hi, Buttercup. I already gave her a bunch of water this morning, and of course it it right. froze on top, and then she broke through and drank it underneath. It's amazing to me how much a cow can drink and eat. Kitty. <laughs> Hi, Emmy. Emmy has a cold. A little bit. How you doing, Banjo? You keeping warm? The ice is warm. All over on that side. Yeah. Hi. Sure is cold. I guess it's not too terrible today. It's about... 23 degrees right now. And uh, here we go into the barn. Hey turkey. So we've got quite a thick layer of straw here mixed with manure and it is definitely producing heat. It is warm in here particularly when I'm when I'm down on the ground you know close to the ground milking buttercup it's definitely warm but this straw and manure is missing one key ingredient, and that is air. Kind of just got air on top, of course, but it needs air to be down inside so the exothermic reaction can take place. Hey, chickens. I'm just gonna grab Buttercup a little bit more, more hay. There you go. We're slowly uncovering the, the windows that are on this side. Had I thought through it more carefully, I would have piled up the, the hay on the other side, on the cold side of the barn, and basically made a, a straw bale, well, hay bale, um, insulation, insulated wall there, which, you know, wouldn't have helped that much because the, top, the roof and ceiling is not insulated, but it would have been nice to leave these three or four, I can't remember how many, I think there's three small windows uncovered so the chickens could at least get some bask in the sunlight. However, as I was mentioning, this is a particularly sunny and warm January for us. And we usually don't get any sunlight in January. 
a direct sunlight. So I guess it wouldn't have mattered much anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm technically in my slippers still. My Ugg boots are oh, not know. really meant to be. <laughs> I've worn them in the snow before. That's true. Sure is nice out here with the sun. Which jackets can you tell? <laughs> Nanda's are flopping over her hands. So cute. Look like little marshmallows walking around. <laughs> wow, you're not even falling through. Wow, it is. Let's see if I can walk on it. Oh, I fall through, don't I? Okay, no. yeah. I'm not falling through. Oh, wow. <laughs> I better go chase down the girls. <laughs> they went around the corner. <laughs> Here's Hammy out in her pasture. Can you see her nest that she built? It's like 10 feet wide and about three feet deep. It's amazing, it looks, it's hard to get in there so I'm not gonna go in, but it is shaped just like a bird's nest. And uh, she made it herself, it's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> She's about as wild as this property can let her get, which is awesome. Yeah. I feel happy to give my animals a, a good life while they're here. I love that our kids can be kind of wild pig, <laughs> not pigs, <laughs> they can be wild kids too. You know, they can go free range kids, free range kids and yet still be on our property and be safe. No traffic. Actually aren't very many wild animals around here that could ever harm a child. So it's a pretty safe place. We're really grateful to, to be here despite its perceived problems. You know, nothing's that, nothing that we can't deal with. Do you remember how overgrown this used to be? Buttercup is actually really taking care of this. She had, she had access to this all, all year. That's nice. Yeah, it actually looks quite good. These two trees are, getting bigger, but goodness. It's amazing that we can stand living in a place with so few trees. There's another one coming over here. And it's actually growing through, growing through the, shed. the calf sheds. But we'd rather sacrifice the sheds than the tree. There's... This is a beautiful area. We learned that we want to be, I don't know, I, I want a house that's being hugged by hills and trees and it still has a little pasture for our family cow and for the kids to run. But I also want trees to explore and acres and acres of woods. Just thinking. We're very happy here. We've had a wonderful year, but um, we bit off a lot with this property. There's so much to be done. <laughs> We've, got, we've done so little on the house. Well, we've done a lot, but it's made so, such a small amount of difference. Um, but we've had a good year. The kids are happy, we're happy. We've had amazing times together. We've, we've made some great memories. You don't have to have everything to be happy. And we've learned that it, uh, there's a balance between homesteading, house building, and everything. Yeah. Life in general takes a lot of time just being with the kids and being a good mom and dad. It takes time building an infrastructure, a homestead, but we first have to take down what's here. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi! Right, exactly what my point is. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's take it and try and live while we do it. Yeah, I'd rather our kids have have us. Oh. Look at My that. house is perfect. Look at that weird thing. Yeah. I think it's a rock. It looks like a rocket, huh? It's a, a jet trail. No. This is a pretty it's area. A it it looks sure looks like a rocket. It's a pretty area. It's a great place to run run kids. Race kids. <laughs> <laughs> And it, depending on what you want out of your property, this is a great Whoa. place. This is a great place. Seven Look acres, you can do a lot. Yeah, like, ask, this ask is more than enough for what we're trying to do. Yeah, it really is. But, but we're well, also trying to be alone, so it's not enough. <laughs> yeah. Lita, about 110 acres or so. So there's a nice big buffer. Whoa, uh-oh. We're not antisocial at all, we just prefer to. When we get alone, I want it to be all the way. Yeah. We have our alone time, and we have our social time. And never the twain shall meet. <laughs> Cow footprints in here.